Good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you all are doing well. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to 144 from the stars to row. All right. So picking up on the energy just a little bit before we dive in is it kind of feels like um, someone has made the this. Uh, all right, it's either someone has made the decision to walk away and not choose conflict, not give in to something, not fight anymore, or someone is thinking about how someone has made that choice. And I, I guess it's a little bit of both. So let's go ahead and take a look into this situation and see what Spirit would like you guys to know. We have the Queen of Wands coming out reverse, so there very may well could be a fire sign involved. Um, the energy I'm getting more so, though, is like, I don't know, like the, the pride is wounded. <laughs> Alright, what's going on? Hermit reversed. Jeez, okay. Okay, Queen of Wands reverse, Magician reverse, Hermit reverse. My goodness, we have Temperance in the upright. That's good. And then we've got Eight of Pentacles, the full Eight of Swords. So you've got this full in this 88 sandwich. Damn, 808. You may have been seeing 8888880880. I don't know, something along those lines. Maybe that's something you've been seeing recently. Um, if so, this is a sign that this message is for you. Uh, yeah, okay. All right, so someone's pissed off, they're manipulative, they're not exactly the most wise or whatever. All right, what's, what's going on? Because I understand that, but your energy is so much different. You got this Eight of Pentacles, the Abundance, the Fool. I mean, yeah, you have this Eight of Swords, but I don't think the Eight of Swords is your energy, though. That's the thing. Like, even though it... It numerically look nice. I, I don't think that's your energy. I really think that's these people. Or I said these people. And we don't even know if there are more than one person. But I guess that confirmed it. There is more than one person in this energy. Four of Wands reversed. Oh my gosh. What is up with this individual? Why is everything with them reversed? What is going on in their life? Alright, so here's what I'm getting. Someone has... um. Someone is currently like going over the fact of this like past series of events like i feel like they're under some kind of review like they're they're reminiscing they're going over they're in a lot of thought they're thinking about this overthinking maybe too much thinking but part of this thinking is there <sighs> something about the fact that during all this time you didn't fight. So, apparently, someone has been a, ad, an adversity to you, right? They've been trying to be some kind of enemy in some kind of way. They've been trying to fight with you. They've been trying to pick a battle with you. They've been trying to overpower you, overcome. I feel like this is like by force. I feel like someone was trying to dominate you. I, f I don't like this. Okay, so this is what's happening, is after a long road of power plays where this individual and perhaps whatever they're connected to has been trying to assert dominance, assert control and power over you, try to bully you, push you out of life, push you out of position, like, just, I don't, and like, overpowered, like, I don't know why, why they think there's some kind of, like, brute in life, but... They just really felt like you were like some like peewee and they could just do whatever they wanted to you. But okay, so this person is realizing that they've lost, but it's like they're really like butthurt. Like I, I can't I'm like, I feel stuck. I feel stuck over the fact this person is hung up over the fact that 
they have spent a ridiculous amount of time trying to attack you, trying to stop you, trying to block you, trying to whatever their intentions were. Okay, because I feel like there's a lot to this. There's a backstory. There's a bunch of mess. There's a history to this. There's a whole bunch of, and I'm just going to stick to right now. The energy right now is after this long road of this person trying to fucking overpower you, trying to put some kind of control or possession. They have completely lost, and they're sitting there realizing that not only have they lost, not only have they completely, utterly just failed but you didn't even fight like this whole time you chose peace you chose non-conflict oh my gosh this is almost like the energy of someone walking away from a fight and being very calm and just diplomatic about it and just simply choosing not to not to take it any further you know, so they're walking away. They're being the bigger person. The other person is like that little bitchy chihuahua. They just want to shut the fuck up and just keeps wanting to come yapping at your heels until you turn around and punt it across the yard. Not that you should ever do that. Don't ever. Anyways, um, I I'm just really belittling this person's energy is what it is. So you try to walk away from some kind of fight and this person is right at your heels talking shit like, oh yeah, oh yeah, well, turn around, turn around, turn around. And then like... They're hurting themselves. They keep trying to provoke a fight out of you, but then they keep getting hurt every time they do it, and you just keep avoiding the conflict. So, this person's upset because you didn't even have to fight back to win. You chose not to fight, and that won the fight, and it embarrassed the hell out of this person because they did the fucking most to try to beat you in some kind of way. Oh, man. I bet this person's, like, infuriated. Do you know how, like, small you would feel if <laughs> you tried everything in your power to try to stop someone, to try to, like, hurt or block or be an obstacle, be an enemy to someone, and they just ignore you, essentially. Like, you're just nothing. Like, why? You're just... This person's so upset. Okay, we have the universe. There's a big cycle closing. There might be like a court situation tied to this. I am feeling that energy. <sighs> Ultimately, I feel like this person is coming to terms. This is interesting because I've, I've done some similar readings on like a similar dynamic with like people coming to terms with the reality of like the situation. The reality of them losing. And they lost because of what they did. And you won because of what you did. And that's a hard pill to swallow sometimes. Well, apparently on this story and this narrative for the collective, the hard pill to swallow is that you chose not to fight. You chose peace. You chose no conflict. Like every time they came at you with some bullshit, you were just like, eh, and walk away. Or whatever. Like, all right, dude, whatever. Like, this is like... Uh, that person that always wants to pick a fight with you, like every time they see you, they're like, nah, 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 and they're like pointing finger and they're just like trying to get and provoke you, get an argument out of you. Like they always want a freaking argument. They don't know how to just say hi, hello, have a nice day. If their mouth is opening, you bet your ass they're fucking arguing about something. Why? I don't know. They got a problem, I guess. And then you just don't. This person just keeps trying to get you to, like, argue with them. And you just ignore them. Stone cold face, just ignore them. Like, whatever. You're nothing. All right. Nine of Cups. Three of Swords. Queen of Pentacles. All right. So we've got Fire Sign and Earth Sign energy out here. <sighs> All right. So it really just kind of seems like the whole thing is... That someone has completely lost this long, drawn-out battle. They've been trying to attack you for a long time. And this whole time that they are expending all their time and resources. This is the kind of person that would literally, like, spend all their money on black magic on you. And then spend all of their time and energy to try to, like, block all your blessings. And then try to slander and gossip. And then, like, do all this shit. Like, just 
spending so much time and resource like i'm exhausted like oh my gosh don't you ever just give it up like how do you even have the time for this do you have a life apparently not apparently their life mission is this because like i don't understand how they have time to do all this but they have time to do the absolute most and like some of it's weird like i feel like this person's even thought out of the box like they've even tried some like unusual things to try to get to you still didn't work What else? Why does this matter? Because <laughs> if, if, if they don't matter to you, in a sense, like, you're ignoring them. You're just like, alright, whatever, fuck it, you're stupid, ace of swords. Because you need to know the truth. <sighs> alright. Need to know the truth, perhaps, about people that have been partnering up against you, so... If you know that you have had a, a group of individuals that have been working against you and uh, they've just been doing whatever to block you, to stop you, to just, gosh, I don't understand people that like this is their life purpose, but maybe they were trying to steal from you. Maybe they were trying to gang stalk you. Maybe you were being targeted, whatever they were doing. If you were in any kind of scenario where you could have been a victim, could have. Coulda, woulda, shoulda, won't ever be. That's the way I'm feeling about this. You just, um... I don't know. Can you imagine how infuriating it would be to step in the ring with someone and they just won't fight you? Like, come on. Like, everyone's here. They're here for a fight. Just fight me. Just swing. And you keep swinging. You keep taunting him. Keep dancing around him. Bobbing him. Weaving him. And just like, eh. Nah. Not really worth my time. And then when you try to attack, and what's more frustrating is not only are they not throwing any punches, they're not bobbing and weaving, they're not doing any footwork, they're not dancing, they're not entertaining you, they're not even making eye contact with you, they sure as hell didn't touch gloves with you because you're not even worth their respect. But then when you get throw this tantrum tantrum and like throw all your weight into this punch, they just like kind of like yawn, blink, half-ass, take a step to the side, and you fall on your face. That's how this person feels. They are infuriated. Like, not only are they losing, but you don't even fucking acknowledge them. And not only do you not acknowledge them, but you don't even have to fucking try. This person has to put their entire being, their whole existence into an attempt to attack you. And all that is nothing. That's how, like, this person feels so damn small. Oh my gosh, they feel so small. Because they're just nothing to you. They can't put a dent in you. You're just this energetic powerhouse to the point to where they're irrelevant. They are such light work to you. You don't even have to resist. You don't even have to do a return to sender. You don't have to even consciously, like, it's just like, this, it just... Ugh, you're like on autopilot with this shit. It makes this person so damn mad that you won't fight back. And they lose. It's like, at this point, this person would rather take the loss if you would at least fight back. At least like, at, at least like they got something out of you, but they're not even getting a reaction out of you. So this person just keeps throwing everything they have at you. And then falling, and then fumbling, and then landing flat on their face, and then getting up and trying to do it again, and then mad at you for it. This is that's the insanity. They will put all this energy into attacking you, fall flat on their face, and then look at you like it's your fucking fault, and then feel offended that you didn't even pay them any mind. Then feel offended that you didn't have to put any kind of effort into avoiding their. Big scheme to uh, destroy you. Wow, this must be sad. I couldn't imagine. Like, this is this is like you know those scenes in the movies where there's that really big buff dude with the curly mustache, and then the one dude is talking all arrogant, hot headed, thinks he can beat him in the fight, and goes up and just. Throws everything he has into the fight. Is just throwing all the punches he can. Throws everything. Working up a sweat. 
And the person's just sitting there, like, eating them. Like, doom, 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 doom. Taking them, taking them, taking them, taking them, taking them. And then he looks up, winded, just threw all of his energy, trying to take him down. And the dude's like, oh, you're done? Huh. <laughs> he just sends them flying. Like, that's how this person feels against you. They feel so insignificant. They feel so small. And it infuriates them. They want so bad for you to just get mad. They want so bad for you to turn around and slap them or say fuck you or like at least acknowledge them. At least make them feel like that all this energy and attempts that they are putting into attacking you is worth something. It's not. They're wasting their time. Wheel of Fortune. Justice reversed. Emperor reversed. So there's a lot of characters involved in this. You might literally have a group of people feeling like this. You have a group of people. Look, Wheel of Fortune, Justice reverse, Ace of Pentacles reverse, Emperor reverse. So if these are people that have stolen from you or are trying to steal from you or trying to commit some kind of theft, trying to harvest off of you, gang stalk you, attack you, send project energy onto you, they are freaking oh my god they just they can't they can't they just can't they can't they can't take it they can't handle the fact that they are insignificant and nothing in the light of you in comparison to you what are they nothing you don't even have to lift a finger you don't even have to bat an eye you don't have to pay them any regards gosh they feel worthless they feel so insignificant Like, can you imagine, like, just putting everything you have into something and it's not even close to being enough? Oh, you didn't even make the board. You didn't even make the threshold. Jeez, you didn't even score high enough to fucking score. Damn. Oh my gosh, they, they just chose the wrong one. And for a lot of you, this is like an, an entity, like a, a business entity, a corporation, or like an industry, a, a society, a, like a, a business, a company, a, um institution. I don't know. This could almost be like the energy of um, you want to be a... Uh, let's say you want to be a musician, and I i don't know if you know about the conspiracy of the music industry, but there's a lot of gatekeepers in that world. And let's say the gatekeeper said, you will never make it as a musician, I'll make sure of it. And they did everything they could to make sure you never got a record label, they sabotaged you, they made sure no one heard your music, they did shit to sabotage your files, they broke into your house to smash your laptop, but like they did whatever they could to keep you from being a musician, you ignored it. You were aware of it, but you just focused on what you could do. You did what you could do and let everything else take care of itself. And then this person wakes up and they're on their way to work and they hear your song on the radio. Oh, he rips the stereo out of his car. He's so mad that you made it regardless. You weren't supposed to be successful. You weren't supposed to overcome these attacks. You were supposed to lie down and cry and be helpless. But you didn't. You didn't lie down. You didn't cry. You weren't helpless. You didn't fail. You didn't, you didn't give up. You weren't broken. You weren't defeated. Not only that. But you also don't fucking care about them. You just did what you had to and got it anyways. It's like a roadblock that is so excited that it's a roadblock. And it's like, look, cars, look, me, 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 me. I'm a roadblock. I'm a roadblock. Pay attention to me. Bump over me. Slow down for me. Hit the brakes for me. Make me feel important. I'm an obstacle in your way. And then every car just drives around it. Just drives around it. Just drives around it. Not a single fucking tire touches that speed bump. That roadblock. And then that poor little roadblock. She's like. But aren't I. Aren't I roadblocky enough for you? 
Am I am I not a speed bump enough? Like and now they're now they're questioning their worth. Now they feel insignificant. Now they feel small, but they wanted so badly to be acknowledged. They wanted so badly to be a significance, to be of importance. And how they rated this significance and importance for themselves by having control over you. It's like they felt better about themselves if they could have control over you. But now that they don't have any control over you and you didn't even have to put any effort to disregard this illusionary control, they're like, damn, I'm really nothing. All right, so things aren't working out for them. They feel like this is an injustice. They're in anxiety and fear. So, like, not only are they dealing with this boohoo, like, wham bullshit, like, wham crybaby, I really don't care because these people are responsible for some really nasty shit. I know it. I feel it. I sense it. There's a lot of history in this situation. So, they're dealing with this, but they're also dealing with the fact that, oh... Oh, they're not getting away with whatever they wanted to get away with. And they're not going to be successful in whatever they were successful with. If they wanted to steal identity, if they wanted to commit fraud, if they wanted to harvest other people's resources, blessings, whatever. No, absolutely not. Not only that, but they couldn't even stop you. So like all of this has to do, it all started with some uh, seed of greed, right? At some point, someone wanted to gain something in ways they shouldn't. And then somehow you entered the picture. And maybe they tried to gain something off of you as well. Maybe this shit runs deep. Maybe this shit's been going on for a long time. But you know what I do realize? You'll be the last fucking one. Collective. Thank you. Thank you, Collective. Think about it. You're the last one these motherfuckers will ever do this shit to. No one will ever be a victim to this again. And you did it without even having to put up a fight. You didn't even have to square up or put your guard up. You just rolled your eyes and walked away. <laughs> Stupid idiots. Let them deal with themselves. And they are pissed about that. You made an example. And they don't like it. <laughs> Someone wanted to belittle you, make you insignificant, make you feel small, try to control your life, try to block your destiny, try to block your path, keep you from being successful, happy, and abundant. And that's exactly how they're feeling. Oh, well, so sad. I don't care. I don't care that this is how they feel. I have no sympathy. I have no remorse. They can get the fuck over it. So... Keep breaking hearts and taking names, collectives, because I like it. Because you're you're showing up, you're showing out, and you're doing it the right way. And you're really making some people that think they're so big and bad feel really small and insignificant. So good job on that. I'm going to leave this reading here. If you like the way that I read, please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I greatly appreciate every single one of you. I will see you on the next collective message.